No, I'm not usually one to brag, but the feelings I've overcome are the greatest feelings. Okay, oh my gosh, these are too many dynamic voices. Okay. <clears throat> we meet again, Sprite Seer. I am happy to see you have found some of my family. They and your celestial compass can guide you to the origin, the origin of the Merc, and perhaps your origin as well. Nice. So I'm guessing I just see him in my dreams all the time. That's the only time I can see him is in my dreams. Alright, now let me look on the map, and I kind of want to wrap around, so... Next place we're going to is the Knacklefish area. And then we go to the box, and what quest am I following now? Search for the origin. Okay, let's do that later, because we have much... We have too much we have to do right now. Okay, Kari's just kind of teleporting everywhere. Or maybe there's multiple Kari's, and they all have this, like, underground tunnel system to where they communicate and pass on information to each other. Kinda of weird. Well, it makes sense that he'd ask us to get a fish that he that isn't native to his area. What's up, dude? Theodore? Oh, oh you beautiful fish. Reminds me of my younger sea days on the open sea. <laughs> Here are some new clothes for you. It looks like a tied demige. Demige? A tied demige and long sleeve wrap will fit you perfectly. Hire as a farmhand? Sure, dude, what the heck? Select some food to get. A farmhand will help maintain a farm. They look after animals, clean, and increase production of items. Food? Um, sure, you can have the silverfish, man. Hmm. What? Oh, nice. I Needs more food. Oh, so I have to be able to feed him to hire him. Well... Uh, I guess I'll have to come back for you then, man. Yeah, I guess, because, like, what is he going to do with a raw fish? <laughs> Alright, let's wrap around, scoop up this box. Now, after we get the box, we'll go to Farty Fen. Finish that. Oh, boy. Wait, how much... We have like four, right? Yes, let's go. Let's go, Smudge. The go. Look at that. This man is amazing. Okay, and this guy's right up this area. Yeah. I don't think I didn't see you there, Gold. And none of it was gold. <laughs> Rip. What is that? What the? Oh. It's one of you squirrel things. I forgot what your actual name is. I'll, I'll discover it after. I might as well just finish this quest first before I get distracted. Where's my box? My box. Pick up. Hey, got some pelt. Sweet. Ah. Oh, great job. That's a fine pelt indeed. I hope you didn't just trade for one, though. Mm. I wouldn't blame you for a second if you did trade for it. Either way, I have a feeling you'll do well in general. Ah. I almost forgot. Here's something a little special for your efforts. Enjoy this leather haversack. 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 Dope, man. Can we carry more in there? Or something? Let's see. What's this? A traveler's best friend. Let's turn and look at the difference. Not bad, not bad. 
commonly worn on the back. Well, isn't that obvious? Um, I guess this ash looks so weird though. Let's just sure. Let's stick with that, even though I'm not blonde. Why not? Because they won't let me go back to dark brown. <gasps> oh, we got new clothes too. Hmm. That looks nice. Yeah. Eh, I guess this is fair. There are some stable clothes. Clothes that aren't ripped up. Are probably clothes worth keeping. And doop -doo -doo. So that's where we go to find the origin. But we still have much to do before that. So what is this place? Ah, it must be like a carpet. Conk's larble lumber yard. Larble <laughs> Conk's lumber yard. Springmore. Okay. Oh, welcome to Conk's lumber yard. We can make you one plank for ten wood. I'm down for that. But this must be Kronk. Kronk! Wait, what? I could literally just buy this. For 36? That's a deal, my dude. Where are the clothes? Oh, these clothes aren't worth anything. Get rid of those things. Well, what is something that is worth something? Okay, hide. Um... Oh, I only need one. So sure. And trade. Nice, bro. What else you got? Oh, well, I'm not buying this back from you. Shape planks work too. Alright, we'll do that later. It's just smudge popping up. Maybe there's a reason for that. Lumi, personality gentle, habitat close to light. Lumi is a young gentle sprite that just needs a bit of encouragement. Habitat, messy places, personality messy. Loves dark and untidy places, so that's probably when he comes out. Near sailing equipment, personality practical. Locke is a very practical and organized sprite who loves all things nautical. Okay. And grumble, anywhere hidden, personality grumpy. Grumble is Grump with a capital G. <laughs> okay, so we have four of these guys. So I'm guessing she comes out when I'm close to light. He'll come out whenever it's dark. He'll come out whenever I'm near sea equipment. And he'll come out whenever I'm some near somewhere hidden. Okay, so they kind of, you know, allude to things that I might not see right away. Or indicate when I'm near something. What's next? Farty Fenbog. Let's do it. I'm definitely gonna get some sleep after this. I've. Oh man. Today was so wild for me. Not necessarily, but. I just, I've done a lot today. I had to get up early for a dentist appointment, which uh, I left at about 7. The appointment started at 9, but I had to make some runs. And then, after I got out of the appointment, oh, <gasps> kitten! Mountain Moggy. Alright, after I got out of the uh, dentist at about, I'd say, 10, then I ran home uh, withdrew some cash I wanted to try to get a haircut today but then I found out that my barbershop is closed because I'm stupid so I'm just gonna have to go tomorrow I came here and I had so much time to kill I thought I'd have to go straight to work but I had so much time that I just thought why not just record some yonder get more progress into this so this is where we are now and here's the 
Farty Fen Bog Mission. Whoa, Whiffy. I was not expecting to find... Oh, it is glowing blue. Oh my, I'm so dumb. I thought it was just a quest, but I guess it makes sense now. Bog, darn it. I really like this place, and you went and made it disgusting. But it looks like that there backpack of yours could make a good home, and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. Really? There's... That made no difference. There's still... Fart. There's still fart noises everywhere. Oh, boy. Alright. So where do we head next? Search for the origin is the only mission we have. But instead... Why not work on our farm a bit? Huh? Not a bad idea, eh? Plus, we don't have any other quests, really, except for that main story one. So let's do that. There's 63%. So let's start heading there. I wish we could put down a waypoint. But... Eh, we'll find our way there. God, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's just run around with the hammer so we can smash on the go. Okay, that light is really intriguing. Smash this whole place up. Yeah, smash, smash. I'm the best. Alright, this should be everything. Let me check on the map again, make sure. Okay, we're actually extremely close right now. Just make it right. It's almost a... Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much straight right. A bit diagonal. Is that it up there? Yeah, it is. Sweet. And also, I saw some chests. Yeah. But, oops. There's a chest up there. My question is, is there a way for me to get up there? There's a box. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really get up there, can I? Unless there's a hidden double jump I don't know about. And there's a farm with a door. Or there's my farm with a door that I can't even go into. So that's fun. Alright, so we made it to the farm. And uh, it's not looking too high. <laughs> we got 25% farm rating. So it looks like we have a lot to learn. And that guy over there, what's his name? Brothel? Bushel, Bushel. So Bushel, I'm guessing he has a quest right now where he's going to show us how to whip this place up into shape, maybe get some people to work here, get some animals, and learn how to take advantage of this. So we're going to do that in the next episode because we've actually done a lot today. We've uh, finally finished all of those quests after figuring out how to find a lot of that stuff like for example the farty fen i had no idea where those flowers were but with a bit of looking around and wandering and just aimlessly walking around the entire map we finally found some so that's dope we got a lot of quests done we got a lot of stuff done and for now i'm gonna wrap up the video right here i hope you guys enjoyed Thanks a lot for sticking through the video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later.